We are in one of the grow houses for Demacan, which is the only German independent producer of cannabis that can legally grow cannabis in Germany. Only three companies can do it. The other two are Canadian. And most of the market is imported because there are very strict laws on how much you can grow within Germany. So behind me is one of four grow rooms where they grow a literal ton of marijuana every single year to provide the medical market. And this new law is going to have implications for them. But first, let's deal with also the, the sort of personal consumption uh, parts of the law, which comes into effect on Monday. Starting Monday, Monday, you can have 25 grams for personal use. You can grow three plants at home. Um, you can have 50 grams at home. But then July the 1st, they start these so-called cannabis clubs here in Germany, where you can have communal growing of 500 members that can furnish them for um, the, the members of that club. However, the longer term prize for this company and investors is the commercial use, the commercial selling directly to the public. And they're going to run some pilot programs of that at the end of the year that's governed by different municipalities. And for the medical sector here, again, they have a cap on growing one ton of cannabis every single year. That cap is removed starting Monday. So they're going to try to double their output here for what they sell, because this is really where they make the margin, not the stuff that they import. So if they're doubling the market, I mean, how big is the market then? If they're looking to double the output, how, how large potentially is, the, is, this, is this European market? Yeah, so Tom, listen, it's hard to get like precise figures on a lot of this stuff, but to put it in for, for to context for you, we're talking about one ton that is grown here annually. The estimates are for what the black market consumption is in Germany is closer to four or four and a half hundred tons, right? So there's a huge gap in the market for the eventual sort of legalization here. And we're talking about, and again, people are sort of comparing uh, Germany with some of the states in the United States where they've legalized. So the Cura Leaf CEO and chairman was talking about Germany being worth maybe $10 billion in the coming years um, commercially. But when you look at the sort of European market, and if they were to get legalization across Europe, and they kind of they overlaid what happened in Colorado across Europe, they're talking potentially about a quarter trillion dollar commercial market, right? So that is absolutely enormous. Again, that hinges on legalization happening elsewhere, where there are sort of steps going in that direction. But no one has gone quite as far as Germany. What's interesting for Germany, Tom, because we spend our time talking about the German budget, is how it could affect the German budget, right? This has huge tax implications, as well as savings from the sort of correctional facilities. And we had a, a professor and an economist from the Dusseldorf um, Institute for Competitive Economics that looked into this and actually broke this down, down to the euro figure that this could add legalization, full and commercial legalization, could add almost 5 billion euros to the German budget.